What this all comes back to is that they are admitting to you over and over again, yes, we messed up. Yes, we didn't know what we were doing with this story. Yes, this should have been so much better. They're telling you this, but you keep taking whatever they give you. Stop being that kind of fan. Hey everyone, support our Patreon, which helps us to continue bringing you our live streams, videos, and podcasts while bringing you new content such as exclusive live streams and animated shorts. Let's go ahead and get into this thing. Because I've been talking to y'all about this. And every time I talk to y'all about this, I'm trying to help you. I'm telling you this for your own good. I'm trying to make y'all better people out there. But all they do is throw rocks at me. <laughs> Sometimes eggs. <laughs> sometimes Torches they, and pitchforks. Yep. Sometimes they just straight up just beat my ass about it. <laughs> Shut up, old man. You don't know what you're talking about. This ain't yours no more. <laughs> Give me that shit. <laughs> yeah. Throw bricks through my window and everything. <laughs> All right. I don't know what to tell you anymore, but maybe if this man tells you over here, maybe this man who was actually involved in what we're about to talk about even though he's saying the same thing I've been saying for years, since he's one of the creators involved, maybe they'll listen to him. And the man I'm talking about is J.J. Abrams. Okay. J.J. Made, J.J. Abrams. J.J. Abrams made the news today for telling us no news at all. Basically telling us shit we already know. He said, you know, <laughs> and this is actually what he said. He said, you know, when it comes to Star Wars, maybe maybe planning is a good thing. <laughs> oh, Are you serious? Now you tell me. <laughs> you, really? You think so, man? And I know it's not him. I know it's not him. But he said, yeah, you know, maybe we should have wrote this a little better. Maybe we should have planned. Maybe we should have had more meetings, some more time. But planning is the key. Been telling y'all that for Years been telling y'all that before J.J. Abrams was even in the picture. Sure. Was telling y'all that back when, apparently to y'all, God himself, Mr. Lucas was up in there making those prequels. But all of y'all were like, nah, man, just give me my goddamn uh, uh, Millennium Falcon <laughs> and I'll be good. <laughs> give it to me now and give me more of it. Yeah. But I told y'all, man, and I was nice because I just, and I'll be serious because I didn't want y'all to kill me. Couldn't stand Rise of Skywalker. People keep telling me they know me. No one does. You goddamn right about that. <laughs> they don't know you, and they don't know Han Solo, they don't know Prison <laughs> Leia, they don't know R2, D2, C3, B. I don't know any of y'all up in here. You know, I really did not like this movie. And I gave it, I think I gave it a rental. I might even give it a high rental, but because I know the Star Wars fans are really loving it. If I gave it a bad review, y'all would just be, fuck off. You don't know anything. So I just, I went light, man. But I did not like this movie. And I told y'all because they threw it together. It had no planning. Well, yeah, it's just a, we got to go here. 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 And none of it really settled or meant anything. No. And, and and it has these big moments that when it does, you're like, wait, what? Yeah. Are you sure about this? Is this going to lead to something? I don't know. Yeah. It's here. It's everywhere now. And he, they, they, there was a review with J.J. Abrams. And, hey, look, I'm not even trying to. I'm not attached enough to anything to go in there and attack somebody personally on anything at all. J.J. Abrams, I, I know he's part of a bigger system. You know, that mouse, they, they're a machine, and they're going to go ahead and just kind of do what they want to do to get these things out within a, the amount of time that they think it's going to take to make money. So they did rush this. And really cool of him to come out and, and say this. I'm sure that he couldn't say it right back in the day when they were done. But now he's coming out and he's telling them, like, yeah, look, we messed up. This was on Collider that he did an interview, I believe, and now it's kind of everywhere being reported. J.J. Abrams, lack of plan in Star Wars' latest trilogy was a critical flaw. This is from uh, Ars Technique, uh, Technica, or ARS Technica. They have, a big, uh, they have a big quote right here. Having a plan is the most critical thing. <laughs> you know, the deep shit. <laughs> also in the news, 
fire is hot. Yeah. <laughs> wow, thank, thanks for telling us the most common shit, the common sense shit ever. Hey, Corey, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. <laughs> I like the way you took some information right here that could apply to anything. You know what that's called? That's called life. <laughs> right. You have to plan things as best as you can, and you always need to be able to respond to the unexpected. And the unexpected can come in all sorts of forms. And I do think that there's nothing more important than knowing where you're going. Okay, that. Okay. Wow. Just, okay. I don't mean you know what that sounds like? Uh, the press conference after a, a, a football team uh, loses a game. And you're like, yeah, yeah, you know, we just weren't. We, we got to get out there next week. We got to catch those passes. We got to make those runs. We, yeah. can't, we can't keep getting penalties. Uh, you know, our field goals, we, we got to make sure we get those. Like, oh, you mean you got to do what's in the rules of the game? Yeah. <laughs> Boy, that don't even mean that. Because <laughs> what you just said kind of makes sense. <laughs> This shit was almost like, yes, I was stupid, but I know that I'm stupid. And that actually kind of makes me smart. But because I'm smart and doesn't know that I'm being stupid, maybe I am stupid. And therefore, I should be a little more smart. You know, <laughs> this shit was, man, you, <laughs> you know what that was. That was a dog chasing his tail. Maybe he was just trying to hold back and be as, as succinct and diplomatic as he can. Like, what can I say that won't actually get me sued by the, the company. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to be on your side. You know, you can't always expect the unexpected, but you should know that the unexpected is coming, so you should be able to expect that when the unexpected show. What the f*** are you talking about? Man, when you work for that mouse, if you say the wrong thing, they will make your ass do a public <laughs> apology that they have written for you. <laughs> talk, talk to Mark Ruffalo. Yeah. He was sweating the whole time. Yeah. He's like, man, you asked me some shit, and everybody know this was fucked up, so I got to say something, but... Yeah. <laughs> How can I say something by saying nothing? <laughs> right. Because that mother going to kill me. <laughs> Help, Scotty. I'm going to die. <laughs> I'm going to read this to y'all again. <laughs> Listen to this. You have to plan things as best you can, and you always need, need to be able to respond to the unexpected. And the unexpected can come in all sorts of forms. And I do think that there's nothing more important than knowing where you're going. <laughs> I hope so, because you don't know where you're going with this one. Right. You got lost in the middle of that sentence right there. Can, can, can we move on to the next topic? <laughs> shit, in the middle of that sentence, you had a you had your phone looking at Google Maps trying to find out. Shit, where am I going? <laughs> Fuck, can y'all help me find where, where the end of this? Have y'all seen a period around here? <laughs> Still, they're, they're, they're admitting it now. And I'm not trying to make fun. We're just having a good time. But they're pretty, they, all these guys are coming out because I'm sure once it was done, they were, they were all looking at this. And realistically, these guys are too talented and too smart to look at this, this series, especially that last trilogy, and not look at that. They're, they cannot be that talented without looking at this and saying, this is a jumbled mess. Mm -hmm. and, you, they, and they know that they were forced to do things that Disney – made them do it. I'm sure they didn't want to do. One of the dumbest things is bringing in the emperor and making him the grandpa. Yeah. The grandpa, the uncle, the cousin, or whatever, yeah, Ray. Of and Ray, this. yeah. That was, that was completely crowbarred in. And it, 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 there was nothing in this series to ever lead up to that. No. So, not to get too nerdy, what I want to say, I just want to just talk some real shit with y'all about, and this goes for fans of anything. We always talk about these companies doing ca cash grabs. Mm-hmm. And everybody's quick to point a finger and be angry about it. They shouldn't, man, they grabbing cash. They grabbing cash. Yo, you're well, giving it to well, them. Well, when you dropping this shit in the street, <laughs> when you sitting up there just pretty much, with you, when you pretty much got a wad of cash out and your ass up in the air, <laughs> paying to get fucked. <laughs> 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 you don't know how this works. Do you? <laughs> you know, it's not... That's what I've always said. You know, don't point the finger at these people talking about cash grabs when you're willing to give it to them for anything. You know, I, I don't blame Disney for this. I really don't. Because Disney don't give a fuck about you or your soul. What they care about is your money. That's a business. Sure. That's what it is. Sure. And if giving you the thing you like the most will give more <laughs> yeah. money, they'll do that. Yeah. But if not doing that makes them almost as much money, they'll do that too. <laughs> yep, exactly. Disneyland, Disney World. Happiest place on earth. See how happy your ass is when you ain't giving that mouse no more money. When your ass go broke, instant depression. <laughs> instant sadness. 
And by the way, you instantly out in the fucking parking lot too. See how happy that shit is when you ain't got no money. It's well, just a business. When they say the happiest place on earth, happiest for who? Happy as the who? CEO, the people yeah. who work at Disney, <laughs> and the bitches that got money. Yeah, and Mickey's like, I'm happy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't blame them. It's a business. But if you were gonna make it that easy for them, and that's mm -hmm. what you're doing, it you're making it easy for them. If they people stop being so such a fan of things to the point of nostalgia that you guys are getting ripped off and enabling the machine. Mm -hmm. They will go as far as you let them, and I don't blame fucking Disney for doing this. It ain't a cash grab. You threw the shit at them for a cheap thrill. They know that you. They know. They said, "Why the fuck should we put this much story in here when they're all gonna respond to the Emperor showing up? When they're gonna respond to an X-wing fighter? When they're gonna respond to C-3PO? When they're gonna respond to, to, to the to, to the Millennium Falcon? If they know that you are going to respond to the." easiest and cheapest thing out there why should they not take your money you don't deserve your money they should they might as well just they they are picking you up by your feet and shaking you down yeah i mean yeah if you say like if i just hear this if as long as i get this i'm happy well they gave it to you so don't bitch yeah. <laughs> you exactly. should say like also with a story <laughs> that i can believe in and, and and not feel insulted by oh well shit you yeah say all that well what about men alone well, what about rule one? I'm going to tell you what. Uh, thank God for Dave Filoni and John Favreau. Those guys cared enough. Those are the guys who one is over Star, uh, Star Wars Clone Wars. Uh, John Favreau's a big Star Wars fan. They, they're both coming in and, and doing uh, The Mandalorian. The Mandalorian, Rogue One or whatever we like, that shit didn't happen because of you. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You didn't do a goddamn thing. It happened because they cared. That's true. And they didn't sell out like you did, mm -hmm. you cheap. They didn't do that. So, yeah, people, you know, these guys, they, the, the, what this all comes back to is that they are admitting to you over and over again, yes, we messed up. Yes, we didn't know what we were doing with this story. Yes, this should have been so much better. They're telling you this, but you keep taking whatever they give you. Stop being that kind of fan with anything, anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do love Star Wars as much as the next person. Well, not the person no, that knows don't. everything. No, 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 don't. no, I do not. No, I do not. There are some hardcore people out there. But yes, I love Star Wars. I grew up with it. But I had to one day, I had to just stop and say, why am I giving this a pass? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course. Yeah, so, yeah, y'all yeah, just... Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, yeah, why am I giving this a pass? And I was like, because I don't feel like dealing with the internet. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be, man, like I told you, I'm, I'm not lying to you. I'm being completely honest with you. I did not feel like dealing with y'all. And you all, not everybody, but I, I not, you know, you know what I'm talking about. I gave this a, a, a high rental or either just a rental. I think I gave it a high rental. Be fair with you. Just because, and I did not like this. But I did it because I just didn't, like Martin said, I didn't want to fucking deal with you. <laughs> I admit that. I just don't want to fucking hear it. <laughs> you know? what, what, what do I got to say <laughs> to make you leave me alone? <laughs> yeah, it's, no, it was wonderful. I, I saw some good things in it. C-3PO, right? <laughs> what I got to say to y'all leave me alone? <laughs> Madden <Mad> A. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my face, yeah. please. Yeah. <laughs>